Hello. I'm Captain Vile. Welcome back to Getting Over It. Oh, a pretentious dork that's Bennett Foddy who has not spoken in weeks. Not that I'm complaining, mind you. Just stating a fact. I ate at my desk earlier, so my desk is covered in crumbs. Wow. And now my screen is covered in disappointment and despair as I fall back to the same area. I fall into, honestly, there's gotta be, I, I gotta make like a counter or confirmation of every time Captain Vile has fallen through that sign in Spanish that says, mind the gap or whatever. Oh, great. That's annoying. I really just do not- I- I'm out of commentary, alright? I can't think of anything. I just want to beat this game so I can move on to other... stuff. That's good. Yeah, alright, thanks. Okay, back where we started after four minutes. And almost back where we just were. In nearly four seconds. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> and they went back there. Awesome. I've 
drink with me here. Cup of milk, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. In Skyrim, they... I was thinking about this earlier, because I was rewatching some videos. I do that sometimes, not all the time, but whatever. Uh, and Milk Drinker is like an insult in Skyrim. And I, I, I responded like, why, why is that an insult, huh? And I, I still don't know. Like, were you calling them like a baby or something? Whatever. Also, one thing. Did you know that human adults are not actually meant to be able to be drinking milk? And that lactose intolerance is actually just the normal state of humans, and the ability to drink milk is actually a genetic mutation. I also think that's interesting. I believe that's the second weird fact I've shared on this. The first one was that you can legally eat people, you just can't illegally acquire the body. So cannibalism is, a, is legal. As long as you, like, have legal proof, like a signed document, like, it, they were an organ donor, if this jury is kind, I guess. And then you are free to eat people. Uh, I feel like I should put, kept vile 1852 channel, does not recommend you put this theory into practice, but, I mean... I see no legal reason why you would be arrested if you got the corpse without stealing or murdering it. Which was one thing, like, it's even mentioned in the Geneva Convention. Uh, in World War II, I believe it was, yes, Japanese, two Japanese generals had a contest with each other. To see how many Chinese civilians... No, 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 wait, that's something else. I'm think I get those war crimes mixed up all the time. Anyway, uh, Japan... Britain did a blockade on supplies, so the soldiers were starving. And the Japanese soldiers had so much of, like, their dead men just lying around that they decided, you know what, I'm just gonna... Eat. We're sending out the order, just eat the troops. Eat the dead troops. Now, uh, I believe the guy who sent this order was executed or something? Or got in a huge bunch of trouble. But not for the act of eating them, because it's, that's not in the Geneva Convention. What is in the Geneva Convention is not giving a soldier a proper burial, which could technically be seen as eating them is not a proper burial. Which, I, I would say that's pretty difficult to argue with. But I don't know. Also, public humiliation is also against the Geneva Convention. The Geneva Convention is full of, like, things that make sense, and then things that are like, that's, that's interesting. I wonder what happened to make that a rule. Like, no public humiliation as a punishment. Like, you would think it's just be full of, like, no shotgun in the trenches, no murdering uh, civilians, but it has, like, uh, I think there's a rule about, like, raping or something, which, that's just the law anyway. However, I mean, so is murder. I don't know. How does war affect laws? Do the soldiers, I never actually thought about that. Do the soldiers to just get a license to kill? while the war is open, but only to kill, like, the enemy soldiers? Or does it, like, you know, we're not gonna really look into the fact that you've murdered people because it's war. And I guess could be counted as self-defense if you wanted to talk about, like, the legal reasons of it. I don't know. Oh man, look at me go. I, I state that I'm out of conversation topics, and boom, awesome conversation topic. 
they committed cannibalism during World War II. That is so cool as a conversation topic. Like, you could walk up to a party and get instantly uninvited to the party by bringing that up. You would be the guy everyone knew. He keeps talking about cannibalism for some reason. No one's going to invite you anywhere. No one's going to want to be in the same room as you alone because they're going to think you're going to stab and eat their corpse or something. This is awesome uh, conversation material. You guys should be writing this down and using this in your social lives immediately. Twice this episode I've fallen down there. It's really annoying. Damn it, not again. Can't do it twice in like a five minute interval. Is that the right word? Period? I think period is the right word. I am getting very, very tired of this game. Because I'm not making any progress. I seem to have plateaued at the orange hell. I cannot get past it. I'm just too impatient. So I don't know. To anyone still watching this series, I'm honestly surprised. Should I stop? I'll just title this. Yeah. I'll just title this video. Should I just stop? Should I just pick a different game now? Yeah, I'm gonna do that, because I'm getting really tired. The, the passion and desire to win is gone. It's just boring and annoying. Thank you for watching. Good vile.